Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at an analytical geometry question. In the figure, L being negative 4 and 1, S being 4 and 5, and N being negative 2 and negative 3, are the vertices of a triangle having SLN equal 90 degrees. LN intersects the x-axis at K. Question 3.1. Calculate the length of SL. Leave your answer in third form. So, to calculate SL, we can use the distance equation. So, the s value of x, the x value of s, which is 4, minus the x value of l, which is negative 4, and that's squared, plus the y value of s, which is 5, minus the y value of l, which is 1, squared. If we plug all of that into the calculator, we should get root 80, which is equal to 4 root 5. And they say, leave your answer, insert form. Question 3.2. Calculate the gradient of Sn. So, to calculate the gradient, we use the gradient formula. It's n. And we can say the y value of s minus the y value of n over the x value of s minus the x value of n. And we then get our gradient to be 4 over 3. Question 3.3. Calculate the size of theta, the angle of inclination of Sn. So, to get our angle of inclination, we know that m is equal to tan theta. Therefore, tan theta is equal to 4 over 3, and theta is equal to 53,13 degrees. Question 3.4. So, for question 3.4, we want to calculate the size of L and S, so this angle over here. We know this angle, theta, and this angle is also theta because it's vert op angles. So if we can get the gradient of ln, we can get this angle, and we can say external angles of a triangle to get ln s. First, we need to calculate the gradient of ln, which is equal to, we could say, 1 minus minus 3 over negative 4 minus minus 2, and we get our gradient to be equal to negative 2. If we say... 10, we can just call this angle beta, so this angle is going to be beta, um, equals negative 2, so beta is equal to 116,565 dot dot dot. We then take our beta value and minus theta from it to get LNS, so 116,565 dot 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 minus 53,13 and this gives us 63,44 degrees. I'm going to do the next four questions on a new slide so there's more space to work out. Question 3.5. Determine the equation of the line which passes through L and is parallel to Sn. Write your answer in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So if the line is parallel to Sn we know that it also has the gradient 4 over 3 and it passes through L so this is one point on the graph. So we can say y is equal to mx plus c. We have our y value being 1, m being 4 over 3, and x being negative 4. We can then calculate our c value. If we rearrange and plug this into the calculator, we get c to equal 19 over 3. So our equation is y is equal to 4 over 3x plus 19 over 3. Question 3.6. Calculate the area of triangle LSN. So we know that the length of SL is equal to 4 root 5, which we calculated in the first question. We now need to get the length of LN. So LN is equal to, we can say, negative 4 minus minus 2 squared plus 1 minus minus 3 squared. And we get LN to be equal to 2 root 5. We then can say our area of triangle LSN is equal to half times 4 root 5 times by 2 root 5. And we get our area to be equal to 20 units squared. Oh, this is squared. Question 3.7. Calculate the coordinates of point P, which is equidistant from L, S, and N. So since L is 90 degrees, if we make a circle from SNL being on the circumference, we can say that SN is the diameter as we can say converse angles in a semicircle. Therefore, LN becomes a radius 
So P would be the center of the circle. And we can use our midpoint theorem saying our point 4 plus negative 2 over 2, it will be our x coordinate between S and N. And our y coordinate will be 5 plus negative 3 over 2. We will then get P to be equal to the coordinate 1, 1. Calculate the size of LPS. Since P is at the coordinate point 1, 1, P is in line with L on the y axis, making it parallel to the x axis. So we can say that LPN is equal to theta, which is equal to 53,13 degrees, because alt angles LP parallel to x axis. So if LPN, sorry, this is is 53,13, LPS is equal to 126,87 angles on a straight line. And that's all for this video. Thank you.